Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. Nice to meet you on the internet. Um, I assume before you click the video, na to, gets you the meaning of interest rate. But if you don't, the most simple explanation ko about interest rate is it's how much percentage of your money makes money for you. So the simple example dito is if your savings account gives you an interest rate of one percent per annum, uh, nag deposit ka na 100, it me means uh, yung 100 pesos mo gives you one, one peso each year. So that's the simple analogy for you. Now let's go back to the video. Okay, a quick introduction about this video. This video will be about the highest earning savings account here in the Philippines due to the high interest rate of this savings account. Quick ano lang, disclaimer lang, don't expect double digit interest rate from a savings account kasi a savings account is not designed to yield high interest rate. Okay, with that being said, let's begin this video. Okay, number one on this list is yung BDO Optimum Savings Account. So, ito yung highest earning savings account ng BDO. Uh, I'll use my laptop kasi ang daming details na kailangan banggitin. So, yung interest rate for this uh, savings account is at 1.25% per annum. And ang kanyang minimum initial deposit is at 30,000. And yung minimum average daily balance mo to earn interest is at least 30,000 din. Uh, so, I'll just pop dito sa screen yung mga fees na kailangan yung atandaan. One thing to take notice na lang is, if you exceed 3 times ng pag-withdraw mo, there's 110 pesos na transaction fee each time na lalagpas ka sa tatlong beses na pag-withdraw each month. Second on this list is yung BPI Advanced Savings Account. So, ito yung high interest rate savings account for BPI. Now, for this one, yung minimum initial deposit ng account na to is at 100,000. Now, ang interest rate mo pag 100,000 to 999,999 is you're at 0.75% interest rate lang per annum. So, if you want to get yung 1.25% na interest rate for this, you need at least uh, 1 million and above na deposit na i-maintain mo. Third on this list is yung savings account ng Security Bank which is yung e-secure online savings account. So ito yung high interest rate savings account ng Security Bank. Now for this one, there's a lot of tiers pero yung minimum balance to earn interest is at 5,000. So yung tier niya is at 5,000, 50,000, 100,000, and a million and above. So I'll just pop in dito sa screen yung interest rate na katapat nung uh, maintaining balance na yun. But the highest is at 1.2% if your uh, balance is at 1 million. Fourth and last for the traditional bank is yung Citibank Bonus Saver Account. Now, this one is medyo complicated kasi yung minimum initial deposit mo dito is at 50,000 and kailangan mo siyang increase ng 20,000 per month for 12 consecutive months para ma-maximize mo yung interest rate niya. So, yung maximum interest rate dito is at 2.04% which is the highest among all the traditional bank. Yun nga lang, uh, kailangan mo siyang increase ng 20,000 each month for 12 months. Okay, now let's talk about the two digital banks here in the Philippines versus ING. And for ING, they have uh, a new promo na they offer 4% uh, interest rate for your first 3 months pag nag-open ka. Na-account sa nila from February 1 up to April 30. So yon, then it will revert back to the original na interest rate nila at 2.5%. But still, it's still higher than the traditional banks. Second is yung CIMB up save account. So for this one, this is very promising then. So they also offer 4% per annum na interest rate. But this one naman, no initial deposit, no minimum balance required, and free yung pag withdraw mo. Uh, and wala silang, hindi siya naka-promo period. I think talagang 4% yung ano nila, interest rate. So I think this is the very uh, promising one. Plus mayroon silang uh, insurance na kasama dun sa uh, savings account mo. So if nagmaintain ka ng 100,000, you have twice nung amount kung magkano yung maintain mo. Kailangan mo lang i-maintain for the insurance is at 100,000 pesos. In conclusion, the higher the interest rate, the more your savings account works for you. But let me share to you another perspective of mine. Okay, let's put a conclusion into this video. I'll play a devil's advocate against putting too much money on a savings account. A savings account in today's time is not that type of account na gusto mong buksan if you want to grow your money, even if it's a high interest savings account. For me, the primary purpose of a savings account is dun mo ilalagay yung emergency fund mo and dun mo ilalagay yung pera mo that you use on a day-to-day -day basis kasi madaling i-liquidate yung money mo in a savings account 
account, meaning madali mong mailabas yung pera mo from a savings account. Again, I'd say it before and I'd say it again. I prefer putting some of my money on a money market fund kasi it is also a liquid asset plus it also yields decent interest rate plus mas gusto ko tong strategy na to than putting all of my liquid money on a savings account. Plus please increase your knowledge when it comes to different asset classes. Meron tayong equity asset classes, meron tayong fixed income asset classes, meron tayong real estate asset classes. Just google them and makikita mo yun. Again, uh, I hope na makatulong tong video na to to give you some information na magagamit nyo and please use this knowledge wisely. That's it for this video. Alright, bye! Lastly, before I end this video, I find an interesting Twitter thread sa Facebook and it's about adulting. Uh, I'll try to link yung original Twitter thread dun sa description box ko down below. Uh, it's about adulting and he highly speaks about pag-ibig MP2 and tingin ko it's very informative and I'd like to share it here uh, in my channel. So please take a read about it and do research about pag-ibig MP2 kasi I think uh, maganda rin siyang uh, investment. So that's it. Uh, that's it. That's it. Bye!